And, and, and favorite thing to show people? Oh, teeth. Mammoth teeth. Mammoth teeth. Uh, meteorite. <gasps> you probably want to set your camera down so you can pick it up because this is a cool. Um, this meteorite was found in Trenton, Wisconsin mm -hmm. uh, in 1858. It was identified as a meteorite by Increase Lapham, who is or was um, essentially the first scientist of Wisconsin. He's How old is that meteorite? Uh, uh -oh. Well, see, that's Wait. the thing. <laughs> the meteorite was forming at the same time the Earth was forming. So it's about oh. 4.5 oh. billion years old. Do we know when it hit? No. But it was found in 1858 by a farmer who was plowing his field and hit apparently something. hit it and wasn't, probably wasn't very happy about it. Uh, um, and he thought he had thought, you know, he thought his property must have an iron rich deposit. Mm -hmm. And so they called in Increase Lapham and Lapham said, oh, well, it's a meteorite. It's really cool. But the farmer was actually a little disappointed. But <laughs> in today's world, meteorites are just, people just go crazy about meteorites. Mm -hmm. But if you'd like to pick up a meteorite, you will be amazed how heavy it is. Um, I would use two hands and I would get close. <laughs> there we go. This thing is really, really heavy. How much does this weigh, Patty? About 28 pounds. 28 pounds? And it's only 28 yeah, pounds? Yeah, I know. So it heavy seems what, heavy. what is it? It's made out of iron, 98 solid iron? 98%, 98, 99% 98, iron. Oh, 99%. Yeah. Nickel. nickel, yes, of course. They're called Beamerstadt marks. It's the, it's the way the crystal formed. Could you like slant it on sure. with the light? There we go. We can see them. Mm -hmm. And you said it, those are the crystal structures? It's the crystal structure shown. Of iron. Um, actually, of the nickel in oh. the iron, with the iron.